My throat just died. Toggle Chocolate Paladin's blue. Toggle Jack Ultra's red. Toggle Jack Ultra's blue. Toggle Chocolate Paladin's red. Right. So Chocolate Paladins have got six sets of pikes up again. They got one mole, two short swords, a glaive, two muskets, a spear, polak, a jewel blade. Jack, we've got what? Five short swords? Five short swords, a mole, two pole axis spear, three pikes, okay. I see, I see a, lot of, a lot of palace guards now for Jax, but I definitely would have maybe had a set of Imperial shields just for home point. Hmm. You mean when they pushed in the home point, Jax? No, what do you mean? no, for defending, like with this defense, ah, right I, I'd definitely yeah. save it for like a back gate so you can, you know, hide your range behind for etc yeah yeah um and with the heel it, it kind of counters the musket players as well i just saw the uh, chocolate paladins had a decent a bit of cavalry out as well so they might actually be trying to defend eh? have a look let's see how this shakes out shall we Look at the team list again. They've got a lot of presence on the wall straight off the bat. They've started with one, two, three. Oh, they're only three sets of cavalry. Obviously, the attackers have got none. They've got bagpipes out as well. So. Is, is the second worst player, right? <laughs> of, Con of Conqueror's Blade. Let's see his let's see his artillery skills. Wow. Completely overshot the wall. Well done. <laughs> well done, Fatals. Bronze Star. <laughs> That's definitely a fourth place shot out of three people. Yeah. I mean Oh my days. Oh. Oh. Oh, head has been, oh. been jumped on. Oh, kill him! Kill him! Kill him! <laughs> kill him! <laughs> Don't let him he get away! Have, Kill him! Oh, Dedder! Dedder, Dedder oh, why didn't you survive? There was only seven no of them. No one likes seeing that, do yeah. they? <laughs> there was only seven, Header. What were you doing? I'd, Poor I'd, effort. I'd like to uh, <laughs> say that that's a win for Paladins. They're yeah. just right there. <laughs> oh my god. Oh. <laughs> oh my god, that's hilarious. Someone, someone Dedder strikes again. Oh, ye. <laughs> That's gonna get somebody clip that, please. Oh my yeah. god, my Discord's just erupted as well. <laughs> right. <laughs> I hope they do that again. Here he is. Worst Conqueror's Blade player. <laughs> Why couldn't you be seven dudes header? Right. Get a grip. You're making us look stupid. All right. Like, what is going on? He's having a word with his dudes. They're like, they're like, we're scared. We want to go home. And he's like, shut up. I just already died because he used. Wow, header. I think he was pushing the tower as well, weren't he? Uh, I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, because he he's got pipe militia out, hasn't he? Hmm. I'll be changing now, I reckon, to, to something different. Oh, well, he's got flamer boys and he's got... Um... Does it, it looks are like they doing an back? A push? They, I think they are, are yeah. yeah They've got back. everything back, yeah. Makes sense. A good, it's definitely a good strat with no artillery because there's no mortars to hit you. You basically, all along this wall, completely treb safe. Um, unless the attackers change to more muskets, they've only got two muskets out, so that's not going to be a huge problem. They've got a couple of flay. How many Shenjins do these actually have out? One, two, three. Okay, three Shenjins, there's a Kaylee militia and a Namcam. I reckon they, the Namcam they, they so they can two, climb the they wall, got two, though. Two ball throwers. 
Do they got two? Oh yeah, they do. Yeah. Fatals and Torture. One thing I noticed with Palin that they got a lot of pikes and a couple of muskets, so they're Six clearly pikes looking got, yeah. looking to kill their heroes quick, but it's not good for holding a point. No. I mean, Jekt have got a lot of like DPS classes as well, but they've definitely got more like heavier DPS classes like Polax. <clears throat> You can get away with it a little bit more on the attack, can't you? Because you yeah. are looking just to kill, but defense, if you're three versus one, you want to last until people can pull in. Why do I see somebody just mauling Ripcats out of out the gate now? Maybe not. Right, so there's a lot up on the wall from the defenders. Have they changed to a Namcam yet, though? No, they haven't. <clears throat> Who had the Namcam, though? It was Blade Abbey. See if he's on a supply point, he's not. So they're not gonna. Are they just gonna push straight main gate? So it looks like they're not gonna push the wall, he says, as they start climbing up this side. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I don't think they're gonna respond to that in time. That's three heroes up there. Yeah, but if they just move them palace guards up now, they've. No, kill no, but it's, it's, it's to draw you in for the trebs, isn't it? Like, if you, if you take the walls, you can treb. Well, get the best possible treb you can in the area. I don't, for I don't think the treb on that. Ah, uh, saying that. Oh, well, that was actually really lucky. Straight into the middle of the formation. And thanks to the followers, boys. Much appreciated. I'll go through after this. Uh, who's just followed? I think that was when I was taking the piss out of Hedda. It's <laughs> been roughly five minutes since he got annihilated by, by seven dudes. Poor performance, Hedda. Or dead, I should say. Oh, Blake just did he just roll off the wall? Big mistake. <laughs> <laughs> just just accidentally double tapped off the wall. Oh, I hate it when that happens. Mm, full rotation right. to back. Yeah. I mean, oh they got flamers up though, look. So that's gonna be difficult to push, man. Although they don't have the shields up though, so they might be able to get past fairly easily. They've got Iron Reapers there, they've got Modal. That's what I mean, like if you'd had to set up the back. shields here. It protects your flames a lot. They're getting palace guards over as well. Are they actually going to push here though? Or are they going to rotate back? Because I've I've seen Jack do this a couple of times. But yeah, there they go. Look, they're rotating back. Where they they basically make it look like they're going to go one side and rotate, but Chocolate Paladins have got the the like by far the shorter distance. So like these in the middle here, the job they barely even have to move. Look, and they can already like start throwing over the other side. They obviously have to leave something here. There's still two units. What's that? Iron Reapers and Madao. Yeah, Iron Reapers and Madao against Iron Reapers and Madao, pretty much. So here comes a push straight off the bat. Palace Guard's going in. Oh, charged in. Charge the, shit. the Flamers, though. That Treb could be pretty good. If that hits the and takes out... No, it's gonna they, hit they've own. just been IPG, what? Back gate, I think they're putting pressure on as well. I don't want to look over there though, because this is the main fight. That cavalry didn't seem to really do much there though. They've definitely gotten in. Mm. They've lost three heroes though, so Chocolate Paladins have like won on the hero. Looks like they're winning unit wise as well. I think they've stopped it. Yeah, they've definitely stopped it on that side. The back gate. Modal. Modal against Modal, but they've got more heroes there. Right, so it's a relevant push, isn't it? They yeah, can just yeah. rotate now. Yeah, they're going to lose a lot, the, the attackers are. I think Jack's going to stop his unit. Is he just going to set up Fort Abrakio so they can't push through? That's what I'd do. i just sit out here and I'll brace them already. Yeah, everything has just been lost. So Jack just lost a lot of heroes. I'm going to check the units now. It looks like they're down 200. Lost 200 on the defenders team to 360 on the attackers. So that was definitely... Definitely a win for uh, Chocolate Paladins. <clears throat> I'm, I'm quite surprised that Jack's not trying to take wall dominance. Hmm. I think it's maybe because they didn't want to go back and get Namcam, but they haven't started with Namcams again. So Blade Abbey's got the the Namcams. Like if they wanted to climb to climb ladders, but he's gone with Reapers. Maybe that's their like last. They've got three units. That's the first push. They've got. This second push now, and then they've got a third one afterwards. They've got 12 minutes still, so they've got the time. They've still got 12 trebs as well. Um, maybe that's like the strat they want to go with at the end. They should be trebbing this, man. 
They've still got 12 trebs. Like, it didn't even make a difference if you missed. Just put your trebs down. Really lose any unit, well, a couple of units to the thing. What are they doing now? Still got nothing to push the wall with, so they're probably just going to go for a gate push again. They're still not trebbing stuff, which is really strange. Why are they trebbing stuff? So that's going to hit something, but it's not the best place. Maybe they'll panic and move into it. No. All right. Even even having a Namkins out, because if you kept them on that supply... Uh, and just shoot there. in the wall, they would constantly be doing damage to the javelins. Yeah. Right, so we've got multiple guys that have just run in just to get to the supply point. Interesting. They've got a lot up on the wall, but they've got no units with them. So what are they... They've just lost five heroes as well. What are Jack doing? Maybe using a few hero lives just to try and wipe out the flames and that. Get rid of, like, specialist units, units yeah. you mean. Dead have just it's died it. again. <laughs> They've got three sets of flames out. I mean, so that's... Yeah, it's, it's like a punchline, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> yeah. He's dead again. Ah, Who knew? I mean, it's like somebody that goes to the toilet for 20 minutes. It's obviously they're having a shit. It's like... <laughs> 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 oh my god. I mean, Chocolate Paladins, though, they've got... Why oh, don't they've got, push they've got, out? Don't push yeah, They could get trepped now as well. That's the, I think they've got a little bit over-eager, though, because they've 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 won all the engagements so far in this fight. And they've not pushed out with too much. They're pulling back in now, look. So they're going to lose a couple of yeah, heroes, like this, but it's not too yeah. bad. I but think I they know, lost a couple of Fort Brachio. Away. Oh, well, the Shenjins have just stopped whatever push might come through. Cavalry's charging straight in, though. They've been counter-charged by Iron Reapers. Palace Guards are coming in now. But with that little push, they, they were just out of formation and set up, so they may have allowed this push to be successful. Yeah. I'm saying that they're still... They've got enough stuff on both sides. They've got Javelin Sergeants up hitting from this side. I think they've got Javelin Sergeants from this side as well. No, they've got Pike Militia. They've got Outriders, though, doing damage from this side. Kind of got through, though, but this is where Chocolate Paladins have got a lot of cavalry out now. The Outriders as well. Oh, in the uh, cab in the back? Front back? Yeah, Armagers. Yeah, Armag Chargers come across. Chocolate Paladins just got pulled out all of the cav. They're pushing me right out, though. The attackers are down to six zeros. Easy. Gaming raided my stream with oh, well viewers. Well Thank you for the raid, Coffee, my dude. This is so far for the guys that have just joined in. The first round went to Jekt Ultras on the defense, and now we've got... No. Yeah. Yeah, Jekt Ultras on the defense, and now Jekt Ultras are attacking. And so far, Chocolate Paladins have had the better of them in every engagement, I'd say. I'd say that's fair to say. As you can see, the attackers have only got one hero up, and Chocolate Paladins have got 14. So... Oh, this is this is going to be their last push. This is, has to be their last Effective push. They've had push. two big pushes. They've got... Yeah. They've basically got one more chance, so we'll see what they can do. Now they've got the bagpipes out, the big boys are joining in. <laughs> uh, the defenders have got, like, double the units, though, so if they, unless they get steamrolled, which I can't ha see happening, they've got less hero deaths as well. Oh, yeah, only eight deaths to 35 from Jekt. So... They've got all the advantages at the minute. It's it's Chocolate Paladin's round to lose. What's some mummy doing there? He's just nuking... A pipe militia? Well, that's IPGs, isn't it? Mm -hmm. They just got rid of maybe like half a unit of IPGs for free. Yeah, no, these he, couple of javelin sergeants aren't too unit, bad. Though. He should have just played the hero card there. Yeah. I mean, it's only like half a unit of Javelin Sergeants, and if it's the same dude that's had Javelin like Imam, he's had Javelin Sergeants out the whole game, I think. The whole game, like, since they've been in the middle, there's, there's been like two or three running around the whole time. Right, now they've got the Namcams shooting, though, so now they might actually go for a wall push. Where have they got all them? On the ramp here. Is that just Namcams? Namcams. They might actually go for a wall push. Oh, it looks like they're going back gate, never mind. Quite surprised they just wouldn't keep them on supply. 
because with the arc, you can actually reach majority of the top of that wall. I honestly don't see, unless like this push is just amazing, I don't see Jekt winning this. I mean, they've got two sets of Zakalian out. They've got the bagpipes and pike militia though. The units but, that the defenders but, have got are just flat out better quality. And the heroes haven't died that much, have they? I, yeah, I no, they've, I've had, only they've, seen they've had eight after. hero kills. Yeah. Or hero deaths, sorry. So the spawn's only going to be to what, 10 seconds? Or nine deaths to 35, yeah, yeah. For the majority of them, which is huge. Nope. How are you there doing, Tixie? So, a reminder for anybody, five minute delay, so apologize if I don't uh, react or speak straight away when you do stuff. This is a pretty good push coming on, though. But again, like the attackers have got cavalry, so they're just going to wait for pike walks to, to stop. That's a lot of bombs going off. Is there going to be a separate video of each match? Uh, JM, there is a separate video of each match. Well, saying that, it's always the attack and the defense. That's how I do it, and I'm pretty sure that's how the, the main channel does it as well. Um, CB normally cuts it straight from my stream. The last couple of times I did myself and posted it as well. I'll have to have a look if I actually get around to doing that. It, it, if it'll be tomorrow. But it definitely gets uploaded on the, the Twitch Rivals channel. So we're down at 14, 14 heroes. They've got a lot of pikes though. The attackers and the defenders have got a lot of cavalry. That could be a good treb as well. They've still got eight trebs, man. Like, what are they waiting for? Mm, they've got the time. If they just set up and make sure that there's no units and it's just heroes, then they can That's clearly a good treb just... As well. Really get stuff. a set up to counter any respawns. It's cabin the back lines though if it doesn't get countered. Oh no, they're blocked no, anyway. Yeah. yeah, cool. I didn't see them. IPGs. Is that two sets of IPGs as well? No. I wonder if they've got um stun on brace. I've got that on my IPG. So I can advance, like I can walk them into stuff and obviously stun them. And then when I brace them, they're stunned as well. That, uh, that winged Asar push. charge was good. Chocolate Palin has got this. Easy. Look at him, they're just hunting him down. Very, very strong defense from Chocolate Paladins there. Yeah. Yep. Extremely good defense even. Like their attack, but their defense was just as good as their attack bad was. Like, I'd say that's fair. Like the, the attack that they did was You'd not- You'd think it's two different teams to be fair. Yeah. It's like, it's like, I don't, I don't know if like, they just got a massive shouting at. <laughs> Or they maybe just practiced the defense more or something. I don't know, but they just absolutely ruined Jekt on that second round there. I'm not going to lie. After that after that first round loss, I honestly expected Jekt to just ruin them on this fight. Well, because that's, that's, that's what I was saying. Obviously, from the first week of the fight, was definitely the, the, the attack was definitely the Paladins and the Sword. But their fight against Holy Crusades, they were a lot more effective and that's the paladins i watched last time in in the defense yeah so fair fair credit to them they they held there very effectively they didn't, they didn't just held they stomped them. they still got 500 units left they've lost in total what 11 heroes to 51 of the attackers that is brutal that's absolutely brutal. Like if all if all the attackers are out, Alex at the game as well. And there's one over here. Well, if, if if Dedder had just killed them seven heroes at the start, like he yeah, I know. Like then... just poor effort. Definitely Dedder's fault. Definitely. No, I hope I hope he's at the bottom of the be at the bottom of the team. <laughs> <laughs> Conquerors, so please, God, make it happen. <laughs> showing it was just a fluke from last time. Yeah. <laughs> oh my days. Right, I think I'm just going to exit this one. We don't we don't need to watch anymore. So I can't see the end plate if I do, so I'm not going to exit. I'm not going to do it. I need the end plate for doing stats and shit, so I'm not going to do that. I'm going to wait until the timer runs down. So I'm afraid, boys, we've got two minutes of nothing happening. But I, I, oh. I just need it for like doing stats and stuff for the rest of it, like uh, spreadsheets and stuff. On, on that note, due to uh, a bit of a break, I'm going to go make a brew. Yeah, yeah, we've got time anyway. The next fight's in 15 minutes. Okay, mate. So. Yeah, so we're just going to wait until this finishes. I, th I don't know if, if Turbo would lose it, if it would just automatically kick us out. But um, like, I don't want to move because I need the end plate. And if I if I escape out of it, I'm pretty sure it won't show me the end plate.
Right, so we've got a minute 30 seconds for this to go down. I can't see if all of them have left, but like I said, if, if I leave, I'm pretty sure I don't see the end plate and I need it for the, uh, for the rest of it, so... <laughs> but GG man, GG both teams. That was pretty goddamn good. Um, so I just literally asked then as like I don't know what you said in the, in the break between the rounds, but like that was a lot stronger, a lot stronger than the rest of it. Um, and basically they only planned to defend home and attack home, and so they didn't actually have a proper strat to get like A, B, and C. And I think they maybe just weren't expecting um they weren't expecting Jekt to to actually fight for the for A, B, and C. Well I say A and C, they, they didn't fight for B, but that's why uh that's why that didn't go down well. But that's a draw for both teams, that's a point each. Um if I look on the table quickly, how that changes up the so far. On the right one. No, I'm on the wrong tool. Two seconds. So, Jector are already on four points and Chocolate are on three. So that goes five points for Jekt and four points for Chocolate. Yeah. Cool. And then, so there are, both teams are still in the, 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 the let's say, the title contention. Um, on guard are at the minute with two wins. And they're the next match that's coming up as well. So we'll see if that all happens there. They're fighting Blame Elias. And at the minute, Blame Elias is a team that's, if you like, on second place. Well, I suppose you could say Blame Elias and Jekt are a bit both on second place. Right, there we go. We've got the round win. The round's finished. So. Obviously, the attacker's on the right-hand side. Blake doing work at the top 114 units. 12 assists. 9 kills. That is huge. Header 